Wild Burrows with Mary Jo. We got Shaggy back out here and today we're going to do a little experiment. So I have worked with Shaggy's feet and our son Paul has worked with Shaggy's feet, but Dan hadn't. Now with me, he's been okay, but nervous. With Paul, he kicked out a little bit, so we put a fence panel between us and had him keep practicing. And when Dan was doing it yesterday, we decided to do the hobble, scotch hobble on him. And I wanted to see, so we can tell the difference between a wild animal or unhandled, if it doesn't know you, the difference than when it's working with somebody it does know. So we're going to just kind of go through. Dan's going to be the odor. And I'm going to start going backwards. I'm going to start with rubbing down his leg, five, four, three, two, one. And then I will ask him to go on his toe. And if he's comfortable with all that, I'll ask him to pick up his feet. However. I don't know that I'll do that with his back feet. It kind of just really depends on how he's feeling. We need to go slow enough so that these guys have confidence to do this with us. And that's going to be different for every animal. Dan, when he went to go pick up Shaggy's feet, Shaggy got really uncomfortable. But when he went to go pick up Velma's feet, she could care less. Every animal is different. We have to work with the animal that we have. And I really think with these green animals, even with the domestic mammoth donkey over there. Familiarity with their handler plays a big role when they're young. I mean, eventually we want them to get to where anyone can handle them. Well, right now it seems Shaggy is more comfortable with Mary Jo than he is with me. So we're going to kind of review what we did yesterday, but Mary Jo will be the handler and I'll hand out to pay. All right, we're going to get started. Do we want to turn him a little bit towards the camera? Come on, dude. Let's take a step this way. There you go. There. Good job. Oh, that should be good. Let's get him so he's not shaped. There, oh, that's good. Don't want no banana shaped donkeys. Here Ready? We go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep. So when I'm progressing on his leg, if I get to a spot where he leans, tenses, picks up his foot when I'm not asking him to, I'm gonna back up and go a little bit higher on his leg until he's comfortable. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deet. Remember, the oats come on the deet. All right. So he's pretty chill right now. I'm going to turn around like if I was actually going to clean his feet. Ready? I'm going to stand back enough so that if he goes to kick, I'm a little bit further away. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoops. Five, four, three, two, whoops. Five, four, three, two, one, whoops. Five, four, three, two, whoops. I'm a little nervous, aren't you? Five, he four, three, two, one, deep. He, I'm going to step away and relieve that pressure. So what happened there, I was not asking him to pick up his foot. But each time I got below his knee, he started to pick up his foot. I need to be able to rub the legs on any animal to vet them or just to be able to be around them. That's one of the things they need to learn to do. So when he was uncomfortable, I just went higher and I stayed above his knee. Right, Shaggy. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Did you see him start to lean a little bit there? It was the slightest amount. And I'm stepping back to release more pressure from him. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. On that one there, when I said deep, I also rubbed my hand down further his leg. Are you ready? Now I'm going to hold my hand there and just see. Deep. Oh, Mammoth wants some oats, too. Ready? Oh, next. Deep. Oh, look at that. That's very good. Oh, you don't need to... It's on a cheeseburger. You don't have to bite into my hand. Ready? Let's see if I can get him to stay on his toe there. Oh, too much. I'm just going to back away. It's okay if it's too much, guys. They're going to get there. 
But going from I've never had to give my feet to anybody to I'm going to let you have control of my feet, that takes some time. That's a big ask. Ready? What? Oh, oh, he's on his toe there. I'm just going to rub it for a second. He's not on his toe. but you getting paid? Yeah, he can get paid for this. Yes. He's not leaning away. He's not doing anything. Oh, 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 that's a good boy. That's a good boy. He's not on his toe, guys, but he's just kind of holding it up. He's not leaning away. Yeah, he spent some effort holding it up for you. He's going to get paid. You know, it, it was pretty cute this morning when I went to get the donkeys to see who was where doing what. Well, as soon as he saw me, he was here. And oh my that, gosh, look, there's Donkey Dan. I'm coming yeah. and running. Well, and I want to point out to people who are like, oh my gosh, you know, is a donkey traumatized? You know, Now, he loved yesterday. I mean, even there was a scotch hobble involved. There was dust in the air. There was some rodeo. There was a lot of learning and a lot of hard work for him yesterday. The big scary pack saddle. I mean, that's a lot of trauma or a perceived trauma by a human. Yet today, he, he couldn't sign up fast enough to come get some more. So donkeys love to work. Good boy. He have oats right now, Dan. He's just, oh, that's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah. Now, he's not really giving up control of his leg yet. There, I'm kind of moving it. That was a lot to ask. He backed up. In my opinion, he thinks he's giving you what you want. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't fully understand yet the whole the whole plan here. What's more you can hang over here? We go again. Get you square. There we go. Good boy. Ready? What? Good boy. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, that was really good. He relaxed his leg, guys. Uh, I'm moving even farther away. I was holding his leg. He relaxed it. It's not really the bouncing that I want to get, but we're going to call that a big win. Okay, if you want to square him up, and then I will go to his back foot. Now, when I start on his back foot, I'm going to face the same direction as him. One more step, dude. Because if he uh, kicks... Oh, 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 oh. Back. I don't want Back. him to kick my kneecap. That's not too bad. Yep. Oh, however, we oh. should get his butt facing the camera a tad more. Oh, his smart end. Yeah. Okay. Come on, dude. Let's do a little bit of... Let's walk the catwalk, man. Show everybody what you got. Here we go. All right. That should be good. Maybe I can tilt this a little bit more for his feet. Good job. Good footwork. Oh, you're the one you're okay. next. You just hang around. So now we're going to ask it. Dan's going to say stand on the same side of me because if he got, does go to kick, um, he can pull him. Let me square him up away. again. He's he's all discombobulated. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think we're still on the camera. It's hard to see from here. Okay, I'm going to start with petting him. When I was petting him on his back, he was flinching. So I'm going to pet him. Go to his butt. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep. Step away. Relieve that pressure. I'm gonna come back in. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep. On the deep, I went further down. I stayed up for the five through one and further down on deep. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Step away. Relieve the pressure. <laughs> You're like, what is she doing? Mammoth is a mooch. You guys ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Stepping away and relieving the pressure. He's pretty good with this right now. I don't see him tensing or anything. I'm going to go all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. He was pretty chill. He was pretty chill. Okay, now I'm going to hold my hand there and see if one he'll pick it up. Oh, is Mammoth being a pain? No, I'm letting her hang around and giving her a reason to. Okay. 
foot. Hey! So, you know, I was watching that. Yeah. And I don't think that was defiance or naughty. It's like, is this what you want? He felt like he came out a little bit towards my hand, which I think he always feels like that. Let's actually yeah. move him more so that the camera can see even better. But he, they won't be able to see with him, his head being that way. You can do it. There you go. Good job, man. There. Okay. And then he just needs to be square. There, that's good. I just, I'm going to be blocking him, I think, Dan. Can you see the camera? Yeah. Let's go. There. There we go. All right. Let's have you square up. Square up, buddy boy. Yep. That's actually pretty good right there. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Step away. Going back to what he knows. Okay, I'm going to hold my hand here. Foot. Foot. Good. So he picked it up kind of quick, but he didn't come towards me that time. Now, yesterday, when he was doing this with Dan, he was coming towards you a little bit more dramatically, if I recall. Oh, he was demonstrating that I, I could kick you. Now yeah. he's on his toe. Yeah. I'm going to start petting his leg, and you're just going to keep the oats coming. Good boy. Relieving that pressure. He's still on his toe. I'm going back in, guys. Back. Get one. You keep those oats coming again. Ham. You ham. I started wrapping my hand more around his leg. Baby steps. Advance and retreat. Good job, bud. That was just a little swing kick. It didn't come out. I picked up his foot a tad to bounce it. He's like, wait a minute. I haven't agreed to that. Oh, look at that. I asked for too much. So now if you do get one who's kicking out when you're asking, put a fence between you and the animal, and that way if they kick out, they're not going to hurt you. Let's go back to something he knows. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. We don't want to leave them on the note of, oh, that was too scary. And when you go too far and it doesn't go the right way, you, you have to back up. And, and go start at an earlier process that he's familiar with. You can't just start over where you failed last time. You got to back up and kind of review so that they get the confidence they need to know that they're doing the right thing. You don't want to build on frustration. You want to build on successes. What are you owning them for right now? Habit. Okay, you want to square them up? Mm hmm. All right. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Now, we could be doing this with him for days or weeks or months to get him where he's just super comfortable with us back there, not nervous. As he becomes not nervous, he will become more and more willing. So when you're working with your donkey, if it's a slow process, that is okay. Go at their speed. Foot deep. Oh, that was nice and calm. That was the calmest we've seen today. He's still on his toe. I'm gonna. You can just oat the gajibers out of him. Deep, 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 this is a good sign. 
Let's see if I can actually get him to pick up his foot off his toe just a tad. And I'll back up quicker than last time. Deep. Oh, Nicely I done. I think that was good. My goal is to bounce him, to bounce his toe or wiggle it around and have him be relaxed. But he's not ready for me to, to do more than one of that right now. But he's still on his toe. We're just going to let him get used to me being there. Oh, yeah, I think I should try to pick up his foot again. Oh, now he's going off his toe. Do you see that, guys? All that time he stayed on his toe. See what he gives you. Foot. Wait, you have to foot up, buddy. He's not very square, Dan. This is going to be really hard for him. Yep. There we go. That's better. That is better. Foot. Deep. Again, that was calmer when he picked up his foot. He's still on his toe. I'm going to rub it. He took off more weight, so I went away from him because he took off more weight. Woo. My goal is to bounce it or wiggle it. Right now, he's not ready for that. If I try to jump into wiggling his foot, he's going to kick out, and I know that. So the more times I can get him to take that weight completely off his foot and be relaxed, we can build on that. Should we do his other side? <laughs> you remind me, I was thinking we had a real positive spot there. Let's spin him around. Come on, bud. Come on. Oh, you're doing so good. Come on, man. Oh, come on. What should we do around the world? He should maybe face his butt more this way. Mm -hmm. Nobody around the world. Uh, other way. Other way. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Shaggy. Sorry, buddy. I need to make it easier for you. So there's Dan getting them all upset right before I go to work with his feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. If there's no danger in it, it's not a sport. <laughs> he had been doing around the world pretty good. I thought it'd be a good way to spin him. But it didn't work. See him picking up his feet extra high right now. There, that's nice. That's nice. Aim this a little bit more. All right. I'm going to start on his fronts. Dan's going to get him squared up. Hang on to him just for a second. I'm going to move that block. I'm going to get you to square up. One more. Come on. There we go. I was in the process of asking him to square. Oh, that was too much. That was too much. You. You're going to have to come forward more now. You're not in the camera. There. Oh, that'll be good enough. Okay. So again, when I start off, I'm going to face the same direction so he doesn't kick me. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. He picked up his foot. That would indicate uncomfort, discomfort. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. That time I didn't go to his hoof until. Did I say deep and you didn't owe him? Dan's being cheap with the oats, guys. Well, because he lifted his foot up. No, it's okay. It's okay. 
<laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Okay, he's uh -uh. pretty chill, so I'm going to turn and face the other way. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, whoops. Five, four, three, two, whoops. Five, four, three, two, one, whoops. Ooh. I just pet you there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay him for that. I'm paying for that for being calm. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. I'm just, since he's wanting to pick it up, I'm going to see what happens if I just ask him to let me hold it. Yeah. Or bounce it. I'm just going to rub him. Deet, deet, deet. Removing that pressure. Hi, you. He just says, I need some love. I need some reassurance. All right, you ready to go again? Foot deep. Foot deep, 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 deep. See if he'll let me bounce it. Oh, yeah, that's a good. Oh, that was, we had two relaxed movements. It's not bouncing it how I really want to do it, but he relaxed his leg in my hand. Did you do a good job? Huh? Did you do a good job? Okay, we're going to do that again. What? Deep, 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 deep. Deet, 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 deet. That's good. I he think... gave that foot just on your hand movement and foot. So right? he's, he's getting, he's starting to connect the dots, aren't you, buddy? So even though my goal is to, more pain. even though my goal is to have him bounce, like be able to wiggle his foot and pick it up on my own, he's giving me his foot. And being that he's relaxed, I'm just trying to move it around a little bit to get him used to the idea that somebody else is going to move his foot. One day, he'll have the farrier trimming him. I think I'll move to his back foot now. Okay. You want to have him take a step that direction? Maybe even a couple steps. He hasn't moved his One, back feet yet. Two. There's your two steps. All right. So I'm going to start facing the same direction as him. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Step away and remove that pressure. Come back in. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Right now I'm just checking to see if he's comfortable with me back here. I'm not going to ask for more if he's not ready for this. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. He seems pretty comfortable, so I'm going to turn the other direction. Ready? He says, I'm ready. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. He's on his toe. I'm going to rub him. 
He's still on his toe. So I would say that this is a pretty big difference, me working with his feet versus you. Yeah, who, definitely. So they got to trust. Trust is that first step. I wiggled his foot with his toe up. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? You ready to do that some more? I'm just going to rub it. He picked it up kind of quick, but he wasn't trying to kick at me. He's still on his toe. That means he's still relaxed. I'm just kind of wiggling his foot there, just as a baby step. So when you guys are working with your donkey, just take it slow, go at the pace that they're ready for. You will get there eventually. Deep. I think this could be good, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button.